Now we're going to work on side two of the trailer, starting with the uprights. This is the same three inch by inch and a half heavy duty C channel that I used on the first side. And I'm cutting this to 36 inches long, so it's the same height as side number one. After that, I'm cutting a three inch wide piece of heavy flat stock to five inches long. This will go on top of the C channel and it's what will hold the pillow block bearing. And once again, I've got this beast of an extension cord, uh, 50 amp, 240 volt, so I can weld in my backyard. With power to my welder, I could do a couple of tack welds and then do a full weld holding the plate onto the C-channel. Next, I clamped the upright in the front right corner and then welded it in place against the base and the rail. I cleaned the welds with a wire brush, and once it was cool, I went over it with some primer just to keep it from rusting before I did the paint job. Moving on down to the back end of the trailer, I'm going to start working and put up the second post here. Uh, what I've already done was added a piece, uh, a cross piece here, so that I'll be able to add in an angle brace, just like I did over on the other side here. Now I can do the upright like this. Um, the back one is going to be cut to 38 inches tall. The front was 36. The difference is the thickness of uh, the wood decking that's on here. I welded the upright and then I added in a cross piece and welded that in place. And when I was done with that, primed the welds and any bare metal. I just got in the mail uh, another pair of these P204 pillow block bearings with a three quarter inch bore. These are actually a little bit better than the ones that I used on the first side. These have a nice seal around here, help uh, protect the bearings, keep rain out of there. I went to the store, got myself a 10 foot long piece of Schedule 40, two inch diameter black gas pipe. Uh, the first piece for the one side was inch and a quarter. This feels like overkill almost. It's very heavy. It feels substantially bigger than on the first side. And on this two inch pipe, uh, inch and one quarter uh, exhaust clamps fit right on there. So I'll use those uh, to connect this to the solar panels. And back behind me, I got a couple of boards. So my last three solar panels, I'm gonna lay out on there and uh, start laying this all out. I laid the solar panels out on some long planks so that the entire array could be perfectly flat and level. Then I measured the length of the panels and marked the center. I stretched a chalk line and snapped it to mark the centers all the way across. Next I removed the exhaust clamps from their packaging and disassembled them. The clamps get laid out on the center lines. Then I can lay across the two inch pipe. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use these existing bolt holes in the frame, but I can measure them and make sure that any new holes I make are the same distance in from the edge. On my pieces of steel flat stock, I'm going to make a mark one inch in from the end. And then in terms of uh, from the edge, I'm going to mark it in three eighths, which matches what we measured on the solar panels just a moment ago. Then I'm going to mark that with the auto punch, drill some pilot holes, and then use my step drill bit to drill it out to the correct size for my hardware, which is these stainless steel bolts and washers. To make the matching holes on the solar panel frame, I'll just lay out the piece of steel straight on the frame and I'll use a transfer punch set. Uh, these come in different diameters, so I use the one that matches up the hole, put it in the hole, give it a smack, and this marks the exact center. Then I can drill through the frame. Now keep in mind I'm using a little block of wood here so that as I drill through I don't go too far and damage the solar cells. I'm also going to make the holes for the pipe clamps. Again, I'm just double checking my measurements, making sure everything is centered. I'll lay out the bracket half of the pipe clamp on here mark the holes, drill the holes, and I'm going to have the holes through both the steel and the aluminum frame. 
Then I can test it by fitting the U-bolt through. I installed the steel bar and pipe clamp on the two ends first. That way I could put the piece of pipe back in and use it to double check the alignment of the center clamps. Even if they were off center just a little tiny bit, the important thing was just that everything was in a straight line so that it would uh, clamp properly to the pipe. Next was kind of the tedious work. Uh, this was just all the drilling. Really took a bit of time laying out the pieces of steel on there marking all the holes, drilling them, test fitting all the clamps. And then after that, what I did was I had to clean all this up, take the parts off, get them ready for painting. And since the pieces all look similar, I'm just making sure to mark them so that I know what part goes back where. The first step for doing the painting was just to make sure that all my metal was clean. After that, I applied a coat of primer, and after that, followed it with a coat of gloss black paint. Likewise, I made sure to prime and paint the brackets and the U-bolts. The gas pipe already had a black oxide finish on it, but I had no idea how that would hold up long-term against the weather, so I primed the pipe and then once that was dry, I went over that with a coat of paint as well. Now I've got some of the proper 5 16 hardware. I'm using a stainless steel 3 quarter inch long bolts, washers, and I have nylock nuts. Now I just got to assemble the steel onto the solar panels. And what I'm actually going to do is put the bolt up from underneath, and what that does is it means I only have to get the wrench underneath there. And up on top, I can use whatever else I want. Once all the flat steel was bolted in place, I could bring the painted pipe in. Now, finally, for the last time, lay it down on the brackets, put the U-bolts through, and tighten those down. When I was all done, the three panels were mounted together and looked like this. I was pretty happy with it, but I still need to make the little adapters that screw onto the ends of the pipe that go into the pillow bearing, which allow for the solar panels to be supported and rotate. And I think I can design a better version of it on this side than I did on the first side. I hope you like these videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, share on social media. Check us out at 300mpg.org and on Patreon. And until next time, stay charged up.